What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday on Ambiguity with Saren. And Taylor. Um, this week's topic, we are going to be discussing how um, relationships have changed for me, what I've learned from relationships, friendships, platonic, you know, platonic, sexual, and all kinds of relationships with friends, partners, and family, um, and all that good stuff. So, the first thing I want to... Do I have any personal updates? No, I just I keep getting pimples everywhere. You don't, um, you just said you don't get you have that look, many was, pimples. Yes. What's going away? Two hours ago. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. My at this trans support group that I that I go to um and facilitate. We had a clothing swap, and I got this new shirt, and I found this watch. I didn't steal it, I promise. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was so incredible just going to it this really group was. today and seeing everybody you know trans feminine and trans masculine people and non-binary people like taking clothes that fit them for the first. It was just very empowering. So that's how I'm feeling right now. Um, because I'm wearing this t-shirt and do you want to say hi? Okay, cool. Okay. (laughs) My friend's just chilling over there. Okay. So what I've learned that, what made me want to say that is that I've learned so much about friendships and relationships from the trans community after coming out and this little guy just doesn't want to fucking sit down. (laughs) Come on, sit down, man. Sit down. Sit down. Look, man. Okay. Wow. They're really going to see all this because I'm not editing. Wow. Okay. Good job, sir. Anyways, (laughs) what are you doing? (laughs) Can I have a hat? I need a hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is okay. I'm just being vain. Who gives a fuck about a hair, you know? You know, I just got it. I just gotta do me. Okay, keep doing me. Right. Okay, right. It's bothering me. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at you guys. What's going on? So what I've learned is how powerful <coughs> relationships can be. And like I've I guess I've always had I've always had like a lot of good friends. I never had a solid like friend group who I hung out with and all of that, but this, like, coming to terms with everything and meeting people within the community and having a community has literally just been life-changing. And I think that had I not been, had I not realized who I am um, before college, I wouldn't have this, I wouldn't be where I am, basically, essentially. Um, And my friends before transition, before I came to terms with anything, everything, this is literally just not even words. I don't even, am I speaking (laughs) of these words? Um... And uh, wow, I look like I look like such a little white boy, like I, from you know, like prep time. You know, like this one. I got my Starbucks, my watch, my button down. I just need my salmon Can you shorts. Pay attention? Yeah. Okay. Um, I learned the. I learned how amazing friendships can be, and I've learned that you really have to put yourself first. And if a friend is not accepting, regardless of how long you've been friends with them, like I lost. I lost one of my really good friends um, because of my transition, who had who I'd been friends with, you know, for years, and they came around. Like they came around, giving them space, allowed them time to think about it, and like realize that you know I'm still the same person. Just because you don't accept or like just because you don't agree with what I'm doing, I guess that's a better term, doesn't mean that we shouldn't let. Doesn't mean that it should jeopardize our friendship. So. Just to restate that because I'm not being clear. Like, just because they don't agree with what I'm doing doesn't mean that they can't um, respect it, I think. Um, and I think that being said, that the friends and slash people who didn't accept it in the beginning, the fact that they've come around now just goes to show that, like, when you have a true friend, nothing will come between the friendship. Because I love... This is literally at four minutes and I've said nothing, no, nothing helpful. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. And friendships with my family. Friendships with my family. Friendships with family? <laughs> Relationships with my family are still, you know, in the in the process. They've always been, uh, you know, um, in a quite a weird situation. But I think that this whole, you know, identity thing has just really thrown them, like, all over the place. And so I don't want to say that, like, one person in my family is more accepting than another because they're, I think they're all, like, taking some time to process and think about things and just sit with it for a little bit. So I just – I don't really talk about my my identity so much in front of them. But it's definitely thrown my family into a loop and, you know, that's life. But you have to give everyone time. It's a transition for everyone, blah, 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 everyone, you know, all these fucking things. Anyways, relationships with partners. The first relationship I had where I was called – like, somebody's boyfriend was with this, like, girl from Tumblr, um, and that, it was, like, my best friend from Tumblr, 
So we didn't even like each other. I literally just wanted to be her boyfriend. Like, I just wanted her to call me her boy. It was weird. Anyways, having her say that was just, like, really... It, like, it actually it verified everything in my head. Like, it made it more real. And I think that I really relied on Tumblr and internet friends for community and for help and guidance and all of that stuff. And a lot of who I am is because of Tumblr. And I've said this before, but... A lot of who I am is because of the people that I've met on Tumblr, one being Taylor. Um, and Taylor's my first real relationship ever. Like, all these people from Tumblr or from, you know, school who I'd, like, hooked up with casually, they were all just to kind of... I don't want to say... I don't want to, like... Because, like, what if one of my exes... I don't know. I care about just everyone that it. I... I... It was just all to... Just say it. It's okay. For, like, confidence boosters I guess and I know that's pretty terrible but like when I was going through these crises I just I didn't have any confidence in myself and I thought no one would ever love me and people told me like in my family and other people told me that no one would ever love me because um a lesbian would want a a woman and a man would want a man and of course I'll never be a real man according to them and first of all, that's not true because non-binary people exist and, and, you know, like the world is evolving and people are changing. So you have to learn to, you know, disregard what people are, what older, these are from older generations, you know, older people, <clears throat> parents and people and family and whatever. Um, but you have to learn to not listen to all the bullshit that you're going to be hearing when you're coming out. And that's one thing that I couldn't seem to do. Um, it didn't just go right through me. Like, I sat with everything and every, like, negative comment that was that was told to me. And it was it's just really difficult. And, like, I would sit in my room and crying. And, like, I would just post, like, my life on the internet was so entirely different. Like, my relationships on the internet versus my relationships in real real life were so different. And I don't regret that. I do not regret going onto the internet first because I found so much support there. So there's that. So if you're looking for support, trans, commu uh, trans community on Tumblr, on Facebook, there are Facebook groups. Um, and just really like seek out those places. If you're kinky, there's FetLife. There are a lot of queer people on FetLife. Also a lot of, you know, people you might need to avoid. Um, but just like different communities online. So seek that stuff out. And now, yeah, back to partners. Somehow I, like, yeah. veered from... Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job, well, Saren. This is no, great. No, no, you were on topic. Was I? Okay. Yeah. Um, so now how? So now that I'm medically transitioning, I've had top surgery, and I'm, like, a month, almost... No, wait. Mm -hmm. A month. A month on T. Not almost two months here, right? I'm, like, a month and a few days on T. Um, how has our, has our relationship changed at all? You want to talk about what I told you earlier? Um, what do you think? You told me something earlier about getting angry. Um, Not even yeah. irritated. I got irritated. Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know. Yeah. Yesterday was kind of like one of the biggest differences in our relationship that happens. Like he got mad at me literally a thousand times that day, <laughs> and I broke down and I literally begged him to stop getting mad at me. I was like bawling for like two hours, and I was so upset just because like I know it's not his fault. But at the same time, it's like... It is my fault, though. Like, I hate that, like, blaming T. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's not T. It's it's me. And I don't know if... Like, part of it was me. It's not all T. Yeah. I, I mean, it's like your hormones are, like, I know. fucked up That's... Right I, okay, I guess that's... Yeah. So it's I, not, I, like, a, all your fault. But at the same time, you did... Like, it was some stuff. Like, I admit, like, I was being kind of, like, snarky. But that was because you were just being, like, a flat-out asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean it's crazy how people say that like you get angry when you when you go on tea, and I don't think it's the tea; it's your hormones. Just the fact that everything's changing for the first for the first part, like puberty, pimples, stress with final, like everything going on right now, just made it. So I guess that's like a personal update for what's going on. But yeah, so it's kind of like taking a toll. Not on, I don't want to say it's taking a toll on the relationship because like we're we're doing quite fine, but I just have to like be aware of when I'm getting angry and how often I'm getting angry and why I'm getting angry. Like, sometimes I'll sit and I'll be like, like, you'll say something. You'll be like, why did you just get so whatever? Yeah. Okay. I read it. I literally will have no answer. You know, so I'll just, like, he'll get mad at me and then two seconds later he'll be like, baby, I love you. <laughs> and I'll be like, you are fucking crazy. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's, that's real. So that's probably the only thing that's come about so far. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. Life is crazy. <laughs> Shit's fucked up. What made you say that? <laughs>
Can we like real talk what's going on in Baltimore? Like honestly, keep Babe, your keep them in your keep, keep them in your thoughts. People are dying. Trans women are being imprisoned in Baltimore for protesting for their lives, and they're in male male imp- male what's it called facilities. facilities. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, keep them in your thoughts. Keep everyone in your thoughts. Mm-hmm. I hope you're all healthy and doing well and getting by finals week and self care during finals week. Yeah. Really important. Keep yeah. that in mind. I just took my uh, nighttime nap, my daily nightcap nap, <laughs> and they went and got me coffee. How sweet! They're so they're so sweet. Anyways. Yeah, relationships. Put yourself first and don't let don't let people tell you who you are because if you let someone convince you that you're not who you truly are, it'll just come back and kick your ass literally. So, um, put yourself first and do you. Be yourself cuz you are fabulous. Yeah. And come out when you're ready, I guess. That's yeah, come out when you're ready. From? Come out when cuz I'm thinking <laughs> of relationships with my family. Oh, okay. And how I like coming that. out to them your eyes I, look really hazel right now. No, they don't. Look, they're probably looking at it like, what the fuck? His eyes are literally shit brown. Like, <laughs> like the poop I just took an hour ago. Okay. Anyways, I love y'all. I really like this mint green. Okay, look at my bye. nipple. Look at my nipple. Nipple. <laughs> nipple. Okay. Bye. Love y'all.